Earn passive income every single day. That's the name of the game. Today I'm going to unbox the Bobcat 300 Helium Miner and show you a setup that works for me and the research that I've done to maximize your helium return. Let's go ahead and open up the box. First we have the quick troubleshoot guide which shows you some frequently asked questions and can assist you in setting up the miner. On the back side there's do's, don'ts, basically setting it up. Um, there's a QR code for the user guide right there. Let me go ahead and peel this back. We have the power cord, um, some bolts and screws for installation. This is the stock Ford DBI antenna that comes with. There's a certificate of authenticity and a warranty card. Uh, it's a company from China. I totally trust that. Here's the actual miner. Uh, keep the bag, you can put a sandwich in there later. Now you've got all the equipment out of the box, but do not forget right in here is the the key, it's not the key to life, but it's the key to the Bluetooth. So you're going to use this key here to go right in to where that BT button is, the Bluetooth button there. That's what you're going to use. And I almost forgot on the bottom side of this, as you can see here, it slides off, but this is a mount piece. You can screw that in your wall if you want to mount the helium miner right against the wall like so. Then on the back of the miner, we have the antenna cord on the far left. We have the Bluetooth button right next to it. The next two spots are not really needed. Then we have the ethernet cord, which if you want to plug your ethernet into there, or you can use Wi-Fi. I just used Wi-Fi and it works just fine. And then to the far right, we have the power adapter cord or slot. So it's a really quick setup. It should only take you about a minute. You're going to screw basically the top of the antenna into the base. You're going to screw the antenna into the helium miner itself. Now be careful. Don't act like the Incredible Hulk and try to force it in there. It's a delicate piece. So most of you have probably waited multiple, probably a half a year for this miner to come in the mail. And for you to screw it on there and break something, that would just be super tragic. Because once again, <laughs> that warranty card, companies in China, good luck. That's not like working with Amazon where you can just ship it back that same day. And then we have the uh, power adapter, obviously. Then we can go ahead and plug in our helium hotspot. And at first you'll see the light is yellow. Then it usually goes to red for about two minutes as it boots up. And uh, that's when you get your little Bluetooth key out. So you want to take the Bluetooth key and you want to put it in the hole up until the light turns blue. When the light's blue, that means it's ready to sync with your Bluetooth on the phone, and then you can get it connected to your Wi-Fi as well. Okay, now that we have our Helium Hotspot all ready to sync, let's go ahead and download the app. The app is called Helium. When we have the app downloaded, you're going to click Add a Hotspot. We're going to search our hotspot based on brand, so in this case, it's the Bobcat Helium Miner. Then it's going to tell you to place your hotspot, which you've already done, so you can just skip through that. Next, the app will give you some information on diagnostic reports. It'll tell you to power up your device, which we've already done. And then finally, we're going to connect the Bluetooth. We've pushed the button on the back of the device, make sure the light is still blue, and then hit scan for my hotspot. It should pop up that hotspot has been found with the name and then the next step is you're going to connect the hotspot to your Wi-Fi so that the hotspot can start syncing up to the internet. In step nine there, you'll see the connecting to network message. This means that you've gone ahead and set up your hotspot correctly. It's just gonna take a little bit of time, so don't freak out. You might not see the hotspot show up in the app for um, the next 15, 30 minutes, sometimes maybe even an hour. Um, I know the first time I did this, I thought I was doing something wrong because the hotspot wasn't showing up. Um, but just give it a little bit of time because you've done it right. Before your helium miner is registered, it's going to ask you to set your antenna 
height as well as the type. This will upload onto the Helium Explorer app. It doesn't impact earnings. Um, it's also going to ask you to designate a location. If you have multiple Helium miners, you're not going to want to set the locations. You might want to set the location on one if you plan on using it at that location. But the other ones, you can have them sync up to the network and then you can declare a, a location at a later point. And there you have it. Your setup for your Helium miner is complete and it should be making money within the next 48 to 72 hours. I like to do a totally different setup for my antenna and I like to get it outdoors so that it makes a lot more money. It's definitely worth it. And I'll make a video to follow to show you exactly what I do in terms of my setup and, and what to buy. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we're going to be putting out a lot more videos on making money, real estate, stocks, helium mining, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe to our channel.